All right, recovery breathing. This gets, this gets very interesting. There are two levels. The, the bottom technique that we're talking about, it's not so much for recovery, it's just for developing some very good habits and for training effect. But if you really want to recover the first two techniques, that's what we use. The first one is the emergency recovery. When do you do emergency recovery? You do emergency recovery when you're about to spit up along, when you have just run for 100 meters and life is very unattractive to you at this moment. And you are not going to dishonor yourself by opening your mouth wide like a fish and breathing in this manner. So what you do is you use fractional breathing for your emergency. The, the only difference, the two differences that are made. First of all, inhalations are done through the nose, not mixed anymore. Second, exhalation, still four inhalations, but exhalations maybe one or two. So it will look like this. And start with exhalation, lead up. So obviously this is hyperventilation, like right now I'm feeling, oh, I'm awake, I'm awake. So yes, that can also be used for that if uh, in moderation. But this is the emergency, this is emergency mobilization, I'm sorry, emergency recovery. So it's again, it's out, out, then four, out, out, or just one, or, or just one, and So that's how you do their emergency. This, you perform several cycles, several cycles of this type of breathing, and very rapidly you're gonna be able to clear the CO2, the non-metabolic CO2. Very rapidly you should be able to get back to breathing much more normally. 